Alright, hey guys, um, I'm going to genuinely try to make a quick video this time, hopefully not 50 minutes long. Um, just really quick, uh, really nice uh, one minute candle uh, long trap pattern that often produces really, really good short, um, short setups. Uh, if you follow my Twitter, you've probably seen this before, uh, there is a trick on very manipulated tickers that are quite weak um, where uh, a range gets painted and a lot of people are waiting for some type of like high day break, um, either a breakout or a clear out, depending if you're long or short focused, but it paints a range. Um, on the one minute candle, it breaks support, so it pulls back to support break support, and then quickly soaks. Um, if you record your level two and tape, you'll see a bunch of buying come in. Um, I'm, I'm going to try to use Thinkorswim's on-demand time and sales. It's not the best, but um, it hopefully should give us some uh, insight into, into how the uh, price action uh, develops on this type of setup. But the idea is very simple. You paint a range. Volume's not impressive. Rig stock, usually a small float. Uh, break support, pushes, breaks resistance, pulls back, right? Classic long trap, right? Short trap and a long trap, very, very high odds. Um, if you read it well, if the market has good conditions for it, uh, often produces big fades. So here's a quick example of FRZA. We'll go through the tape in a little bit. Um, INM did this on November 16th. Painted range, tiny float, break clear, clear paint job on the one minute, break support, market orders back up, look at this, support was zero, break support, a bunch of stop losses and shorts chasing, generates volume, gets market ordered back up, and then does the clear out. Um, sometimes it's a high day clear out. Uh, in this case, the market was so weak, it couldn't even push through high day. Um, but as you see, it's usually when this pattern happens, um, it produces a big fade, and here's a classic afternoon bid prop, followed by another fade. So it often gives multiple legs down. Sometimes, a lot of times, it, it, it signals the top. Uh, it at least gives, like, usually at least two big legs down. Um, so you can have deeper price targets when you uh, um, when you see this pattern, and it you know, and it starts working. Uh, it's it's very bearish. Uh, let's see, Ahmed did this this week. On the back side. Uh, here's a painted level. I saw the 3.2. Looked very, very painted. Volume very weak. Weak market. Paints the range. Breaks support. Market orders up. I short when it breaks this range. You can, you can also have limit orders if you don't want a market order. And then gives, um, gives a nice leg down. Uh, of course, this got pushed in after hours. But it worked in the meantime. Um, on a, on a very high odds pattern that gave you know a nice quick 10% fade uh doo -doo -doo. ncs this did this in the morning on the 29th of november i was sadly looking at usea and i missed this <laughs> and this was like the cleanest pattern of the day uh 9 a.m pop you've seen my 9 a.m pop video usually very weak in a weak market paints a clear range breaks support market orders back up instant pull one leg down two legs down i mean this is a nice um you know especially in a weak market with less range you know this is these are the uh types of patterns and the types of pullbacks you get uh but it's nice you know it's a nice 10 15 percent fade and the other one is tops from back in october this is if you see my pattern rep replication video this is um actually two patterns combined into one uh, where you got break support, market orders up, clears the range, rolls back over, right? And it's produced a really, really big fade. Uh, okay, so let's see. Uh, let's try to use um. Let's try to use the time and sales and thinker swims on demand to see how it looks in real time. This happened at ten oh two. A little bit early. 
And a lot of this depends on your ability to um, recognize, is my time in sales working? To recognize um, if, a, if, if a stock is rigged, if it's painted, um, how strong or weak the market is, what the chart is telling you. My time in sales is not working. Oh, there we go. Eh, Got to start all over again. So a lot of these examples either existed in uh, weaker markets um, or the chart itself was just telling you it was weak. But a lot of these examples were when the market got a lot weaker. Um, and when the market gets weaker, manipulated patterns, instead of pushing, you know, two, three, four pushes uh, with big range, you know, 80, 90, 100% range, you get plays like this, you know, maybe plays that push 50% and are struggling to trade, you know, I fear struggling to trade a consistent high value. You know, I mean, they might make a couple of pushes on, you know, sub, you know, look at these, these candles are already like sub 500K, sub 300K. Um, so my, dude, think or swim is a little, there we go. So anyways, break support, breaks 2.5, uh, uh, you know, half dollar is always going to be a good support level. Also, this paint, this range was clearly painted right above it. So here we're at sub 2.5. You see the 2.49 prints. And then the moment it breaks those prints, you see it instantly start getting pushed back up, right? Um, very abnormal. And, it, and, this, and this, these candlestick patterns are already super abnormal. I mean, look at, look at this. It kind of did it here. It broke it here. And I was hoping it would, it would, it would clear out this time, but it decided to roll over. Uh, and then did the actual pattern over here. So sometimes you uh, you don't get the price action you're looking for. But yeah, look at this. It's already at 2.64, instant reclaim, uh, breaks high today. This is a weaker market. This is weaker volume. Um, it breaks high today uh, and then clears out, and that's the pattern. And that's literally how the pattern works. And, uh, you know, a lot of people... Uh, a lot of shorts are afraid to short it because they see the, you know, the they see the market orders, they see the big push, um, and uh, but if you know how to anticipate the signal, you realize that this could be um, just an A plus 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 entry signal, especially if you have, you know, uh, um, a weaker market with uh, with uh, struggling to trade high volume, right, in a, in a very clearly painted range, right. So yeah, that's it. It breaks support, market orders back up and pulls. Uh, now there are times where something could break support and push massively, massively, massively. Like you, do, you do not want to. Uh, there's a reason that pattern works, and that's because in strong markets, that break support and push can be insanely strong, insanely strong. Um, let's see if I can find what day was this? 10:28. This stock is just crazy strong. <laughs> Massive push on really high volume. Um, you know, these, these these like fake lower highs that keep squeezing, keep grinding up. And here you go. You get the support crack, market order, big push. But this is an example of, of especially because EPIX did trade it a couple of days before this and was really strong. It was, there was some liquidity in the market. Of these stocks making big moves you gotta you gotta pay attention to what moves are happening if, if stocks are making big moves um trading a lot with quick quick liquidity and making big morning pushes um that's not the environment you know you want a neutral to weak market you don't want a stronger market so um yeah this example of just straight up like seven straight uh you know green candles high day was at 3.95 this pushed 10 percent past that Nice bid prop over here. I didn't have shares of this. This is a really nice manipulated bid prop. This is a really high odd short pattern over here. Um, but anyways, I wanted to, wanted to show you what a strong stock in a strong market, um, what it can do, right? Like this is why longs get in and, and shorts are afraid because in strong stocks, they can make big pushes. But we're going to focus on the weak ones. Armed from this week. Pointed this out on my Twitter. Uh, I traded this. Um, a lot of times in weak markets, you'll get these like backside afternoon pushes that um, are really going to struggle to break high day. You know, 
obviously it did it in the after hours, but that's because in the after hours it's just easier to manipulate a stock. Uh, yeah, but it came up. And usually I don't like just shorting, you know, blindly shorting extensions like this. A lot of people will just add on these big pushes. Um, I like to see some level be painted. So I see the pullback, and I kind of see 3.2. I'm like, man, if this could push above 3.2 and reject it, that would actually be a pretty decent um, uh, afternoon short. But I want to see that. So I see it pulls back. I'm like, all right. Um, a lot of times on these manipulated stocks, you'll see lower low, lower low, lower low, and then a push. Um, you don't want to chase in the lower lows on manipulated, uh, thin, thinly manipulated stocks. It comes back up. Now it forms a range, right? right below the 3.2 and I'm like oh that's like a good level if it can like I was hoping it would just like push right away and reject it but it did the trick it did the let's see if we can 154 see if we could see it in action is this going oh there we go So a lot of times you get like five minute of five. A it was painted from earlier, and then you get like a little five minute, you know, choppy shelf that's uh being formed. So I was just watching this. Volume's not impressive, but um, if it gives a good pattern, it's shortable. So let's see. So here comes the selling. The bottom of this is like three point one four. So, okay, break support. Instantly, you already see it getting market ordered back up. Um, and there it is, and here's the push. And I'm looking at that 3.2, and then this is that you short it. You, you can have limit orders, you can short it right away. This is insanely bearish. It's super, super bearish uh, because it's a weaker market. It's a weaker volume. It's a weaker stock. It's going to really struggle to make consistent pushes, especially when the range is painted this cleanly. Um, and if we just skip ahead a little bit, thin stocks kind of chop around. They don't like instantly go down a lot of times. But yeah, um, just started grinding down. And then if we look what happened later, broke this uh, support level. There's a VWAP down here. Here's this painted support level. Here's $3. There's a bunch of, there's a bunch of stop losses all being built up. You get a big crack. Um, now the problem is with super, 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 super thin stuff, it's very easy to soak. So a lot of times you just get like one or two legs down and that's about it. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'll do tops. Tops was interesting because this was actually in a strong market on a strong stock. I cover this in my, um, pattern replication. Here we got a painted range, break support. Squeezes past high eight A, paints the rage, breaks support, squeezes, and this is the same thing. It it's pattern replication and it's uh and it's this one minute manipulation pattern combined into one. So yeah, it pushes, breaks this range, a bunch of people buying, big volume, and it's it's insanely weak. It's it's the odds of it breaking. If this pattern's going to work, the high, the odds of it breaking, whatever the next resistance level is, in this case high eight A, um is very low. So what's nice about that is you can short above this range. You can short in the high 8.8s. Um, and you can risk, you know, 10 cents. You risk 1%. And then, you know, if the pattern's going to work, this won't, this won't break it. This, it's pattern replication, and it's this one-minute pattern. It struggles, gives a big leg down, and then just, like, thinly chops around and actually gives a nice end-of-day fade. Um, so, yeah, just uh, try to get better at reading what stocks are very rigged, you know, very painting. You know, this is like very abnormal. You know, tops is like the classic, super abnormal, um, super, you know, rigged stock patterns. You, you don't get, on, on stocks like um, on tops, you don't, you don't get the clean high day clear outs that go straight down. Like, like on the super rigged stocks, you do, you do not... Um, uh, you do not wait for the obvious short signal. You wait for you 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 understand the the the, the long traps that come very close to high day and 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 then and then get you know that's why the big fade exists. The big fade exists because uh, 
you know, every short is waiting for high day to break and every long is waiting for high day to sell. And that means longs are trapped and shorts are not in. That produces big fades. Less, less covers on the fade. You know, that's, <laughs> and, and more stop losses getting triggered from longs. Like that, that is why it goes down. Um, so really nice pattern, really nice pattern. Uh, just, I mean, try to make this video short. You know, I, I covered in my pattern replication how to kind of identify rigged stocks. They tend to have smaller floats. They tend to be heavily painted, right? They tend to be one of the big runners on the day, right? Kind of something that everyone's looking at. Um, but also they, they, they're, they, they show signs of weakness, right? Weak market, struggling to make multiple pushes, um, struggling to trade high volume, uh, support and resistance very cl clearly painted. So uh, that's the pattern. I'll try to make this video actually short. Uh, you have to use one minute charts. I recommend recording your screen. That way you get to see. When you record your screen, record your chart and record your level two. And uh, you'll see this. You, you, you'll, see, uh, you'll see the support break. You'll see the buying come in. You'll see the range that gets painted. Um, and you'll see the rejects. And sometimes it rejects right away. You know, maybe if, if it's a high date clear out like it was on FRZA, it rejects right away. And sometimes it just, uh, like tops, it, it, it's it's actually not going for high day, it's going for below high day because of the pattern replication. And it just chops around for two, three, four minutes and then it rolls over. I mean, that is uh, that's how the pattern works sometimes. So there's, there's slight variations, so it's, it's worth it to track what those variations are and why, you know, come up with some reason why it happened that way. Um, so I hope that helped, keeping it short. Uh, there's many examples. These are just the most recent ones. And uh, sorry, that's my baby. <laughs> so uh, hope that helped, and I'll try to make shorter, specific videos in the future. All right, see ya.